First, a team of local artists and business owners in downtown Albuquerque have leveraged a unique opportunity to transform boarded up windows along Central Avenue downtown that were damaged when a group of folks disrupted a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest in late May, you might recall. And they're turning them into pieces of art. I recently sat down with the founder of Paint for Peace and some of the participating artists to talk about the initiative and how it has evolved and transformed downtown Albuquerque. You're going to love it. Victoria, tell us about how this all came about. What was the idea behind what's, what you're calling Paint for Peace? Oh, uh, we were sitting around and I uh, had walked down to the lunch to, uh, over at Asian Noodle and um, there was some artists uh, painting one of the walls there on the um, Roslyn building. And I walked up to them and I said, hey, you know, how, how's it going? And they were like, oh, they were a little startled, you know, they were like, I said, this is great. And then they said that they would be able to um, come over to my place and paint um, something on the front of the gallery because we had boarded up as well. And so I said, um, you know, I'd really like for you guys to paint something peaceful, you know, something uplifting, something to bring a good vibe to downtown. And um, so that's where it all started. The artist responded with overwhelming, just fabulousness, you know, and it was just, and, and now I think we're really kind of moving like, yeah, we really do have something here, um, you know, to be able to revitalize downtown. And I think that we have the perfect opportunity too to become an epicenter of, of art artists and, and galleries. And yeah. that's how it all started. I just decided, well, just add some paint and Love let it. the artists go to, go to work, you know, and they did, and I, I walked down there last night and I was just amazed. It's just, it's really beautiful. All the messages, all the opinions, everybody just really came together for that one peaceful kind of message, you know, and it was really, it's, 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 it's very exciting for me to see every hundred percent of the people that you can see people driving by honking, um, you know, thumbs up being, yep. Kelly, you know, interestingly, as we taped this last night, I went down Central slowly on my motorcycle just to kind of check some things out. And I saw you with some folks out there. First out, who, who did you bribe to get that awesome Brixens location? <laughs> That's like the most notable location. But man, it's turned out great. I love it. The night that I went down there, um, I was actually supposed to paint the Roslyn building. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. One of the gentlemen who's a manager at Brixens there. Uh, rode by on his bike and he said you know what he's like I love you I've loved your art for a while he's like just go paint on Brixens once people started seeing you know the other businesses really opening up to using the forefront of what they have up there I think everyone else said you know what really we really want to do this too because then it, is, it does draw the attention down here mm -hmm. so I kind of took that spot and said you know this is it I need to go big or go home because you know this is a huge opportunity right here and I think what I show right here will really, you know, bring other people out and around and say, you know what, if he's doing something right here, we really want to come and, you know, participate as well and get something of ours seen down here and locations where everyone's going to be. Because not is it, it's not only, you know, just the people passing through or the people downtown, but like they have all the car clubs down there. So just the amount of different, you know, groups from Albuquerque who are always down there seeing, you know, downtown how it was and how it is now is, right. is so huge, not only again for the city, but for the artists. So that's kind of where that came from. That's beautiful. I love the way you put that together. That's so organic, so Albuquerque. Somebody overhears something, tells the other guy, tells the manager, and next thing you know, you're on a ladder painting. I love oh, it. Yeah. Um, what, what did you want to say, Skelly? What did you want to say to the world, to Albuquerque, with your art? And you have this canvas, this brilliant canvas. What did you want to tell folks? Well, so when Jessica first presented the opportunity to me, uh, she said, um, hey, we have the chance to paint downtown. Would you be interested? And my style itself is a little different already because I'm, I make a lot of creatures. I make a lot of zombies. Love them. Um, a lot of like pop art style zombies and things like that and so the first thing i told her was you know well i have this style down here so and i bring that up to everyone because i want them to be aware that that's what i'm going to go for and she said that's okay as long as it can be a peaceful zombie 
so right before I went down there, when I was talking to her about getting some paint, uh -huh. uh, she sent me the logo. And I said, you know, and the logo itself was just, you know, a, a piece of hand holding a paintbrush. Um, and that's that's one of the actual logos for this whole movement. Mm -hmm. And so I took the initial logo and I said, oh, I can zombify this and just run with it. Yeah. And, and I'm really happy I did because all my stuff is really bright and vibrant already. Yeah. Um, it really shined down there. Yeah. And so that's kind of more what I did with it. And I've, I've literally had people walk by and say, you know, um, that my logo itself still represents, you know, painting for peace because like even everyone with everything going on, how there's zombies, you know, kind of just following everything they see on mainstream media for, for, you know, example, you know, that this represents, you know, like even zombies can break out of the box and, and be peaceful in, you know, a time of crisis or with everything else going on in the world today. Victoria, pick up on that. How much guidance did you guys give to the artists on the messaging or did you just leave it up to the artists completely? Yeah, we had, uh, well, part of it was, you know, we really wanted it to be the peaceful message and we really wanted that, you know, for them to, for, for like, like Skelly is a perfect example, you know, to really kind of represent, um, you know, your, your artistic values and how you portray yourself artistically. Mm -hmm. Um, but also portray the, 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 exactly that is in this time, you know, I think people need a little bit of hope. We need a little bit of happiness. We need a little bit of, of whatever. And that feeling has come through there. Everybody has that feeling. Yeah. Everybody, everybody I've talked to all the way down to the kids. So, um, I just added paint and peace. When I think about it, I, I can't help but think about um, some footage from a fella that you're quite fond of, our friend Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence, yes. Uh -huh. you know, and he, he went out the morning after the, pro the aftermath of the protest and shot some shocking footage of the uh, damage. The follow-up video that he did that went to the same places he videoed previously that showed the artwork and all the beautifulness that was up there at the chemo, uh, at effects. I mean, all these storefronts that had gotten damaged looked so beautiful. The difference between them, I have to tip my hat to him. It was really quite an amazing thing. And yeah, so, uh, yeah, he, that was a yeah. that was a really good video because we did go out the the morning after, and and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like it, it was. It looked like Armageddon. It was off. It was awful. There was glass everywhere, and. And and I and, it, and I felt really bad, mostly for you know the I felt bad for the business owners, but I also felt bad initially I, with the protest when they first came down here. It was it was peaceful, yeah. and their message was getting across, and and it was and it was beautiful. I get chills thinking about it because we were up on the roof and we had watched the the crowd go by, and it I was just like you know, really, how do we? How do, how do you take this energy and, the, and this, this, and how did it go from that to people banging on the windows? And, you know, it was, it was scary. Yeah. I can't thank you guys enough for spending a little time here. I have to agree with Skelly. I, and I know you do too, Victoria, that this, the, that actually this is a much bigger deal than we might realize in that it could grow into things unimaginable, honestly, because if you really think about what Skelly was, was pointing out, that's the ultimate goal is to bring artists who don't necessarily have a gallery relationship type of situation for themselves. A great art town has to find a way to give those kind of people a, 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 a public showing. We have yes. to do that. We're almost like we're obligated to do it. Yes. It's going to be an art town, and you guys have really stepped forward to do this. I, I can't thank you enough personally for the messaging uh, for Albuquerque's vision for Black Lives Matter. I have to get that in too. There's, you know, for the folks that do come down, uh, I want you to get a sense of that too, that, that the final word is not the damage on the aftermath of the protest. This is the final word, the artist's response. And I, and I, and I think it's just brilliant.